going on, guys? Welcome to Yerfies and Nerfies with Brad. Today, I got three Yerfies slash Nerfies for Tuesday, July 9th, 2024 here at Pig Dogs. We dropped the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. Alrighty, guys, coming off a nice little 2 0 day on this Monday. It's crazy because I said, I was like, I don't love today's uh, Nerfies. I'm not going to lie. And I said that about last Monday's as well. And we went 2 0 on both days. So I'm telling you, if I say I don't like them, that, that, you may have to start putting the farm on, on those Nerfies when I say that. Uh, but it's good to have that. You know, we had a really tough day on Saturday. So uh, to go 2 0 to start the week, it helps, helps us out a lot. And we're back to a full ass slate on Tuesday. So I'm ready to capitalize. I'm ready to get right into it. I've been liking to do this, uh, these videos, just calling out some of these nerfy streaks that have been happening in the league. We have the Pirates on an eight-game nerfy streak. Mariners with a six-game nerfy streak. The New York Mets with a 10-game nerfy streak. Um, that's incredible. And then we got the Reds with a, a nine-game nerfy streak. So there's some trends there. It looks like the nerfy has been hitting the last couple of days. And as a nerfy better, we like that. And hopefully that keeps keeps up because in this one, we got two nerfies, one yurfy. Let's start off with the yurfy, though. It's, it's kids to my A today, guys. So you know where we're going. We're going to Detroit. We got the Tigers versus the Guardians. I have to take the Yurfie, man. Every Maeda start for the rest of the season, it may have to be a Yurfie spot for me, guys. Um, I would say, out of all the pitchers in the league, he's the one that I still don't know. I don't know how he has a starting job. He looked terrible in his last outing. Gave up. Pitched 3.2 innings, 9 hits, 9 earned runs, only 1 home run. It has been pretty for him. It has been pretty for him all season. We kind of knew that coming in. So, if I could guess... I think the Guardians uh, score a run here. Their offense has been very consistent all season long. And we have been lively on the mound for the Guardians. You know, he's, he's put together a decent season. But at the same time, his last start, he didn't look that great. Uh, he pitched six innings against a, a terrible White Sox offense. Gave him six hits, three earned runs, one home run. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Detroit scores one here too. So, I think this is just a, a nice solid year for spot. Next. Headed to the Nationals versus Mets game. I'm, I'm taking another Nationals nerf, you guys. It, it, it keeps hitting. It's, it, it continues to be profitable. Um, and, and I like this pitching matchup. We got Jake Irvin on the mound for the Nationals coming with a 2.80 uh, ERA. I will say Jake Irvin's probably the guy in the league that I don't think is getting enough attention this season. He's been incredible. And he's a righty. The Mets, the, the Mets bats have been great against lefties. But when they face a righty, you don't really have to worry too much. So... Um, I'm, I'm loving that spot there. On the other other side, we got Quintana with a 4.22 ERA. I think he's able to get three outs against this Nationals team. Um, you know, I say it every video. Nationals' most profitable Nerfy team in the league, 63-28 and 28 to the Nerfy this season. And when it comes to the Mets, I just said in the beginning of the video, and hopefully this doesn't jinx it, but they're on a 10K Nerfy streak. Hopefully they make that 11. So I'll take my chances with the Nerfy in that Nationals-Mets game. Last but not least, I will say, if you guys want to leave off one of these nerfies, your feast, this may be the one. <laughs> We're going to the last game of the night. We're heading to San Francisco. We got the Blue Jays versus the Giants. A Kikuchi on the mound for the Blue Jays. Blake Snell on the mound for the Giants. Blake Snell's back once again. Uh, you know, he had a little month hiatus there, but he's back in action. And it's been a really bad season for Blake Snell. But if you've been watching this program from the beginning of the season, you know he's one of my favorite pitchers. And since he's back, I'm going to have to go with the Nerfy. And it's kind of one of those things. He screwed me a lot this season with the Nerfies earlier in the season. He's, he's like that one girl that's not good for you, but you just keep going back because uh, she holds a special place in your heart. That's like Blake Snell for me this season. So I'm taking my chances with another Blake Snell Nerfy. Um, and the reason I say this isn't the best spot, because on the other hand, we have Kikuchi on the mound, which he hasn't been that great. 4.12 ERA he has been mediocre at best. But the thing is, the Giants hit lefties pretty well. So it's one of those things, guys. I'm going to take my chances with it. I just have a feeling that Blake Snell may come out the second half of the season and do some damn numbers and, and beat normal Blake Snell. And I think he would want to come prove a point on his home field first game back. I think he pitches well. And I'm honestly, I'm not too uh, – the Blue Jays' offense, I'm not worried about at all. Uh, Vladdy, don't get me wrong, I'm a little, little worried about him. But other than that, they've been very inconsistent this season. Giants bats, they've been they've been all right here and there. Like I said, they've been really good against lefties, but 
pretty mediocre as well. Middle of a pack offense. So I'll take my chances with the Nerfy there too. Let's go three and no to, uh, today, guys. First pick, Tigers, Guardians, Yerfy. Second pick, Nationals, Mets, Nerfy. Third pick, Blue Jays, Giants. Give me the Nerfy as well. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my handicap camera more closely, follow me on Instagram, at Brad Wins Bets. I post all my wins and losses there. My Pitos content, other free picks. It all follows back into there. But most importantly, subscribe to Pitos on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.